This is another uh, Python quick tip, something uh, you may already uh, realize. It's something basic, but often forgotten by me anyway. Uh, let's start up Python. Uh, so I'm in the Python console now. And of course we know if we type in print, we can say something like, hello world. Great. And if we want quotations around what we're printing out, we can use single quotes like so, and we get hello world. Now, let's say that we want to put the word, um, another word in there like it's hello day. I know that doesn't really make sense, but it's an example. We're going to get an error because it's seeing this and it's thinking that this is our whole string. And it's going, well, what's all this over here? So how can we fix this? Well, it's simple. You can do multiple uh, quotes or single quotes uh, like so. We can say three quotes over here and three quotes over there. And that indicates the beginning and end of our uh, uh, string. So there we go. We got uh, it's hello world with uh, the quotations around it. And we have our apostrophe there. Um, obviously, you can also go the other way and do multiple uh, quotes, but it will be confusing if it ends or begins with quotes. Um, obviously, if we do that, well, it's saying like so. Can't go more than three. Um, and so if you were going to go that route, you'd have to put spaces there. And then you got this little extra space at the beginning and end here. So really, in that case, going single quotes. And if you want to begin it with single quotes, you'd want to go the other way around. Um, basically, what I'm saying is you can do this. So you have the single quotes and the apostrophe in there by using the triple quotes at the beginning and the end there. Um, obviously, you can also do things like uh, at hello world, like so and just use the backslash to indicate that this is a uh, single quote. But then there's other instances where you may not be able to do that or it might get confusing doing that. So it's just another option to use the triple quotes, uh, whether they're double or single triple quotes um, at the beginning and end of your string. So I hope you found this little quick tip useful. You've probably seen it before, but you may have forgotten about it. I know that I tend to. Um, so. Uh, thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.